My first stunt was going down the cellar stairs and I broke my arm. I went down the stairs on my tricycle and my mother said that you were always that way. That started your stunt career. I really did know Gary largely through uh, roles as a thug and a bad man. They're the people who are wild on camera and they are chameleons off the set. And there were a bunch of old outbuildings around the Spawn Ranch. We've got a great mechanic here, I'll go get him. And she came back with this little guy about this tall. Uh, it was Charles Manson. And all the fancy stuff that they're doing now with the special effects and stuff. Hell, we had to ride through real dynamite blowing up buildings. So all of a sudden we had this great freedom to shoot films with very little money, you could reach in your pocket and pull out some change and get a camera and go make a movie. Up until this point, I knew nothing about uh, low-budget filmmaking. And to watch them run around and break every rule in the book, I'm just staggered. Mom and Pop brought the kids home because television was coming in. So the drive-in theaters were sitting there without a lot of product. A director doesn't have to talk stuntmen into doing things that were dangerous. His job is to talk them out of doing things that are dangerous. All right, cut it. That's a wrap. <laughs>